Jake, make a video about Frank Clark. Okay. Well, you asked for it. I don't think the Rams should get Frank Clark. All right. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, the Broncos released him, or they're going to release him. He only played two games. He had 36 snaps, zero pass rushes, uh, zero pressures, excuse me. Um, you know, he's 34th last year in pressures. He had six sacks. PFF rated him the 75th. Uh, edge in pass rush productivity 55th in pass rush win rate uh, he has legal troubles from 2015 um, you know with his domestic violence whole thing at the hotel uh, and in 2021 he had an uzi in the back of his car illegal gun possession he's a big name he doesn't really fit the rams culture and at the end of the day i think he's kind of overrated um, why am i telling you this and why did i just basically sum up the entire video in a minute well, I wanted to be honest with you guys. Um, this is not clickbait. This is uh, Look, I love when you guys watch my full video. I love when you guys stick around. Uh, obviously, view duration's huge. But this is as simple as it is. Yes, he would help the Rams out. No, he doesn't need to be a Ram. Because not every single edge defender that is released is a fit for the Rams. The Rams already let it be known that Cam Akers was not a fit for the locker room because basically this guy just wanted playing time and was making it more about him okay um they made that known cam Akers has no off the field issues okay he's never gotten any legal troubles or anything like that what is this setting what what example is this setting if you're going to bring somebody like this to the locker room i'm all for second chances don't get me wrong but I do think when push comes to shove and you you actually have to make a decision here, you don't have to make the decision to go with yes. It doesn't always have to be a yes. Personally, I'd rather see Michael Hoyt. Personally, I'd rather see O'Shawn Mathis. I'd rather see Nick Hampton. I'd rather see uh, Zach Van Valkenburg. I don't think the Rams need this. And what I would say furthermore is I'll get into more of a reason why but I think there are better players out there. I think there's somebody that you could find for a little bit cheaper, um, you know, as far as trade-wise, not the top dog, so to speak. But if the Rams truly don't want to trade their top pieces, I think there's a guy that you could definitely find, and I'll talk about him in my next video. I think he's a great fit. Um, I actually somewhat compared uh, Byron Young to him uh, coming out of Tennessee. So that will be in the next video, but... Yeah, end of the day, guys, just a real quick hitter here. I don't think the Rams need to go after Frank Clark. I don't think it makes any sort of sense. And, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, last year, okay, 34th in pressures. I mean, he had Chris Jones, you know. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of Frank Clark. Um, I Personally, I thought D. Ford was better. Uh, you know, with the Chiefs, and they moved on from him. They want Frank Clark. I just think that, you know, when it comes down to it, he's above 30. He's got some off-the-field stuff in the in his past. Um, regardless of how you feel about that, I mean, I take domestic violence pretty seriously, and I'm sure most of you do. And so I don't think it's just, you know, oh, okay, it only happened in 2015. Like, I, I don't know. Um I'm just being up front. Obviously, I mean, no disrespect to him. I just don't think he's a fit for the Rams I, and what the Rams culture is supposed to be. Uh, that doesn't mean he can't go and find somewhere and have success. But my also my big point here is I don't think it's the same thing as Randy Gregory. People are like, well, you know, Randy Gregory off the field. You liked him. Randy Gregory, his thing was marijuana. OK, that's that's a little different, um, which is now, by the way, I'm pretty sure the league doesn't even suspend players for it anymore. Um, this is a little different. So let's not put those two in the same bubble. Um, I think Randy Gregory also you could see the potentials there. You could see he's made the most of his second chance. Um, you know, he's with the Niners now. They traded for him. There's a reason why they cut Frank Clark and couldn't find a spot for him. Um, doesn't mean he won't go and sign somewhere and be effective but I don't think this is to come to pass. I don't think this is the right move for the Rams. I would rather have them stand pat than just go out and get anybody because of the name. And we don't know how much he would command either. 
But furthermore, I would just say that I'd rather see O'Shawn Mathis starting uh, than go out and just, you know, spend money on a veteran who's going to be here for one year and who has a, a past. I mean, I'm sorry, maybe that call me soft, call me a snowflake, call me whatever. Um, but I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I don't want to get mixed up in that. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's very we not me uh, to go out and, and get somebody with with that past. So um you know, I'm all for second chances. There are some things, though, where you, you draw the line. And for me personally, I couldn't recommend going after Frank Clark. And if you guys are wondering why I've kind of changed my tune a little bit, because I did tweet it out. OK, you know, um, I wouldn't trade for Frank Clark, but if he was released, I'd consider it. I'll be honest with you. Um, Josh Kolak on Twitter and uh, my buddy Blaine Grusak uh, over on Turf Show Times uh, both brought it to my attention. Uh, Blaine on Turf Show Times wrote an article and Josh had a tweet and I didn't know he had any legal issues. And I'm a man of, you know, being transparent as possible. I didn't know he had those legal issues. But now that I know that, now that I know that he had a domestic violence dispute, I think it would be incredibly, uh, what's the word, irresponsible to recommend this to my viewers, my listeners, my fans, my community, um, because that's not what I represent. And so that's just how I, I, I'm going to say it, right? So, yeah, it doesn't mean that the Rams can't go and get somebody and find somebody to help them out. Um, it doesn't have to be the first guy uh, that immediately comes available. And, you know, again, if people have an issue with me speaking up about it, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But I'm not going to suggest or, um, you know, celebrate the idea of picking up somebody with that past. I'm glad he's moved on, I, I guess. I mean, to be fair, I, I think the illegal gun possession, it's sketchy, but it, it's not on the level of the 2015 incident. Um, but from a football perspective and not being all TMZ about it, football perspective is I think he's starting to hit that wall. I know he had a good year last year or somewhat good last year. Um, he's not the same he used to be, and he only had six sacks last year. And to me, the 75th in the league uh, in pass rush productivity uh, speaks volumes, I think, um, you know, by PFF, because that, you know, combines all the hurries and sacks and everything. That's really telling the full picture. And I just don't think he is that great. Um, big name. Yes. Uh, you know, obviously played on a, a winning team with the Chiefs. The Chiefs relied on him, could go back to the Chiefs. But for me, I don't really see the fit. For you, you might. Let me know in the comments section. And if I'm wrong, just tell me that I'm wrong. Just say, look, like, I disagree with your thoughts on Frank Clark. And, um, you know, I think that it's uh, enough time has elapsed and you should give him a chance. And, you know, um, that's, again, I'm not going to hate on anyone's opinion. <clears throat> I understand this is more sensitive. Um, I don't normally make videos like this, but it came up uh, when I was going through. Because I, I always comb through just everything about a player before I make some sort of video on them. Um, and this was one of the things I picked up. Uh, so shout out to, to Blaine and Josh, of course. Um, but th those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, please be sure to subscribe and like the video. I think this is my first video since we hit 20,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate you guys for helping me get to that point. Um, and, uh, here's to 20,000 and hopefully getting to, uh, a hundred thousand, uh, the ultimate goal now, um, moving forward. But again, thank you guys. You guys take care. I'll see you guys soon. Later folks.